This is the thing you should clean. If you have the thermal paste at home, just use If you don't have thermal paste at home, just buy at a computer shop. There's more many of the is cheap. First, if you if you don't have sorry, if you never don't have uh something that pure alcohol, just use hand sanitizer to clean the thermal paste. First, just take tissue. Use a little, little bit. Don't use too much. And add a CPU. 
uh, we use thermal paste because if you create more heat, if they overload, because it make some, it, it takes more power to processing the data that you downloading or start first. This is uh don't use too much uh sanitizer on the CPU if don't if you use too much it will start some component in the CPU and then make the shot on a circuit. So just rub slowly and gentle. Don't don't make any any drop of sanitizer at, at the edge of CPU. So second. You need to replace the thermal paste. First, you need to have many of uh many of steps to do, but just make the simple one. Just take a drop of thermal paste, then just have two things at the back of CPU. There's Two, uh, if they have two things to play at uh, the back of CPU, that means there's two, two different processing units in, in the CPU. What is the two processing unit in the CPU? CPU is, uh, the two is the GPU and the CPU. So they need to have each other to process some data and if they don't if they don't have each other the computer may not working well because the CPU is like a brain of the computer GPU is like the eye of the computer so if you have one of them you're not running the but you're not running the uh, the computer well next if you then if you then pull the history the screw it screw it the four screw remember four screw yes to then then screw three screw only just don't do that because if you if there 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 is four screw just four screw just four screw <laughs> Screw all four. Then you need to slot so in the RAM. This is the RAM of computer. So you can upgrade it from four to eight gigabyte. It's up to you to upgrade it. Second, uh, the fan, the fan is maybe have some dust, some dust in it. So you need to clean, to clean it. Uh, use to brush or any kind of brush at home that you have. Just brush, so the dust come off. Uh, then you remember to slot the pin in the fan to the motherboard. Careful, careful to not 
such a component to don't meet this uh, this and then switch to then just to to the motherboard and don't use too much too much force to screw because you may break the thread on screw so just a little to make sure to make to make sure the pen not come off and not shaking when when the computer is running. So when this all done, take take the brush and just brush at the component that you touch. So make sure there's nothing left thermal paste or sanitizer on the board because there is some water in, in thermal paste, there is some water in sanitizer that make uh they maybe make a short short circuit in the computer. So if the there some water in the component they may broke the motherboard. So don't take too much sanitizer or thermal paste, they may mess. Stop a little bit. Okay. Good. Next. Next, just take the back plate and just So remember the two things more to do is plug plug in the CD player and CD player and the battery. Then just lock at uh, the back of the laptop. There's uh, a locking mechanism, so just slide to lock to lock it, to lock the battery. Then just clean the back and just done to do some minor service on laptop. So that's it. That's all. Okay.